The following is a paid preview for a game seeking funding on Kickstarter. The product seen here is a work in progress and is subject to change during the duration of the project. Hi everyone, I'm Fred out of the Carpet Sacker with another Kickstarter preview, and this time I'm going to take a look at Zoography from Doomsday Robots. This is a little quick micro game for one to two players. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Zoography is a tile laying game about building the best zoo for one to two players. Your goal is to fulfill goals and gain more than the player you're playing against. Each turn you'll draw a card. Then you build one card next to another card you place down into your zoo. But of course you need to follow common placement rules. Then you may build another card or take all the animals that are on one of the goal cards if they fit in your zoo. More animals will become available throughout play. Animals go into enclosure spaces. However, large animals can only be placed in enclosures with at least two watering holes that covers each large animal. Also, animals only like certain types of animals and follow the habitat wheel. So a zebra, a giraffe, and a flamingo can exist in the enclosure. Exotic animals like a lion, gorilla, and tiger can only be placed with other animals. Some of the goals you have to keep in mind is having not just as many animals as possible, but how they are placed in your enclosure, having large animals in a single enclosure, and even having different and many attractions in your park. And that was just a quick look at zoography. So first of all, uh, this is of course a micro game, so it's going to take a, not a lot of space. It is going to be fairly inexpensive to buy, and I think it has quite an amount of good gameplay in there, even uh, even so for a two-player game and a uh, one-player game. And I believe they're different enough, even though it's going to be very much the same, but I think they're different enough that you'll have a nice experience playing both of those modes. So one of the things in the game that I really like the most is the goals, and I think goals are really the main part of the game of what you're trying to set your strategies on. There are nine different ones. It's going to be hard to complete them all. There's also one extra one that you can complete if you want to put on your board but that's um, that's the maze that you if you make a zoo that's a, at least a 4x4 four four grid that fits in there then you'll be able to get that. But for the goals it's not just about building the biggest zoo or getting the most animals it's really trying to target those goals because your opponent also has those same goals as well so it's a matter of trying to get more of those goals trying to get completed. Uh, one of the other intriguing things in the game is how the designers input the color wheel. Now it's not exactly like a color wheel. Uh, it's just to help you kind of like get into how the habitats of these animals work. You know where the giraffe goes with the flamingo and uh, the other creature. I forgot what color it is. And they kind of work in that way just like the color wheel. Um, the the like the primary colors can go with the other secondary colors and stuff but i think that's uh, pretty neat how they put in there now if you are colorblind this is uh, it won't take away the game at all it's just there just to help you out there there will be a i guess a reference to that kind of thing but if you're colorblind i don't think you have to worry about it at all but i think it's a cool thing now i didn't went full in depth on this but i do want to mention that again that there is a solo game available for those who enjoy solo play it's a little different from the two player game but i think this is something you enjoy i enjoyed uh and it takes about you know 10, 10 minutes to play so if you want a quick micro game like for a game you play here's here's one for you and so that was a quick look at zoography from Doomsday Robots. This is a really cool and very fast micro game. If you're interested in checking this project out, I have a link in the description below. All right, thank you guys for joining me and remember to keep on stacking games. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on boarding car games. This is the Carbert Stacker, and remember to keep on stacking games.